Greetings. I'm Sapnar Bass, a patent attorney in New Orleans. I got my start in intellectual property in 1982 by working as a patent examiner in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. I hope that you find the information in this video to be useful. The information in this, in this video is designed to make the viewer aware of certain issues involving intellectual property law. It is not legal advice, and a patent attorney should be promptly consulted by anyone with issues involving intellectual property law, as some may be time sensitive. There are four basic types of intellectual property, patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. Um, patents are where I spend the majority of my time, probably at least 80% of my time. A utility patent protects any new or useful process, machine, art, article of manufacture, or composition, things we typically think of as inventions. Plant patents and design patents are also available. Trademarks are next, and a trademark or service mark is a word, phrase, symbol, or sound that indicates the source of goods or services. Copyrights. A copyright protects an original work of authorship fixed in a tangible medium of expression. Examples are paintings, sculptures, play, a book, a song, a sound recording, a movie. Trade secrets uh, include information including a formula, pattern, compilation, technique, process, which is kept confidential and is subject to reasonable efforts to keep it confidential. Every business has intellectual property. Intellectual property is about 80% of the value of a typical business. Here's the first U.S. patent. Um, this is the entire patent. Today, um, patents are substantially longer than this, as you'll see later in this presentation. Uh, this is a, a patent for, on a process of making potash, a, an ingredient used in fertilizer, is signed by George Washington. These are the front pages of the telephone patent on the left and the airplane patent on the right. Monopoly is a great example of intellectual property as the game was patented <clears throat> and that lasted 17 years at the time. Uh, also, there was a trademark registration on Monopoly, which still exists, is still being renewed. And finally, the board was subject to copyright and probably is still covered by copyright, um, if, depending upon how long ago the inventor died. Those were examples of patents that do well. Um, this is an example of the 99% of patents that uh, they get issued by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. This is a fire escape, not very practical. In 2018, almost 650,000 patent applications were filed in the U.S. Beginning in 2013, over 600,000 patent applications were filed e each year in the U.S., whereas before 19, um, in 1999, there were fewer than 300,000 patent applications filed in the U.S. This is an example of a current modern patent that issued to one of our clients, C.R. Bard, and it will run through the entire thing to show you what a, a typical modern patent looks like. On the left is the first page of the patent, which has biographical data um, about the, the patent. Um, the right is a continuation of the information on the first page. The next four pages are drawings of the invention with reference numerals in the drawings that correspond to reference numerals in the text. And this, these pages that follow, or what's known as the specification of the patent application. It's the written description of the invention, and it starts with a, um, a short description of the background of the invention, then a summary of the invention, a very brief description of the drawings, and then a detailed description of the invention that typically spans several pages. 
and in this case it does. And the patent concludes in columns 11 and 12 with something known as patent claims, where the reason why the patent issued is spelled out in black and white for people to read and to understand what the inventor has the right to exclude others from doing in the United States for a limited period of time. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office handles many, many patent applications, as we're aware um, from earlier slides. Uh, the Patent Cooperation Treaty uh, is a patent application which one can file in the United States and in other uh, countries throughout the world in which one can file a single patent application which will make the invention patent pending in over 150 PCT contracting states, which are shown in blue in the map, and they're patent pending for typically 30 months from the priority date of the patent application. Then, at the end of those 30 months, if it appears to be worthwhile to seek patent protection in different countries, then at that point, the inventor can file through the Patent Cooperation Treaty in the individual countries of interest. Often, however, people simply abandon the patent application. Uh, here's an example of a published PCT application, just the front page. And here's an example of the front page of a, an Australian patent, which um, could have been obtained through the Patent Cooperation Treaty to begin with. Trademarks. A trademark or service mark protects a word, phrase, symbol, or sound that indicates the source of goods or services. You'll recognize the distinctive Nike check on the left, uh, the Starbucks symbol in the middle, and the McDonald's symbol on the right. Those are trademarks. Uh, the purpose of trademarks and the reason why the government allows protection of trademarks is that protection of trademarks, registration, uh, and good trademarks help to avoid consumer confusion. In other words, if you see a trademark, you can expect a certain quality of goods or services that you're accustomed to. Um, here are, uh, here's an example of the famous trademark on the right, the McDonald's symbol, and a spoof of that in a movie uh, where you can see on the left, there's McDowell's. The mark itself, the words designs, um, can be different from other marks and subject to registration uh, because of the difference. And sometimes the exact same mark, the same word, can be registered for more than one goods or service. For example, on the left, you see the Delta trademark being used for airline services. And on the right, you see the Delta trademark that is used for plumbing equipment. This is a registration for Crawfish Monica. And you can see uh, the registration includes the registration number, the date on which it was registered, the name of the registrant, what the trademark is for, and what international class it's in, and when it was first used in commerce. If one wishes to seek foreign trademark protection, uh, nowadays it's best to file a Madrid Protocol application. And you can do so after a regular patent, a regular trademark application is filed in the US or another member country. Over 121 countries are now members of the Madrid Protocol. This is an example of a statement of grant of protection that was obtained through the Madrid Protocol in Norway. Copyrights. A copyright protects an original work of authorship fixed in a tangible medium of expression. For example, a painting, a sculpture, a play, a book, a song. This is an example of a copyright registration on the left, the first page of it, and the uh, deposit that was um, accompanied the application when the copyright application was filed.
on the right. Trade secrets. Trade secrets are information including a formula pattern compilation technique process which has economic value from being kept confidential and is subject to reasonable efforts to keep it confidential. Perhaps the most famous trademark in the world is the formula for Coca-Cola, which is still kept secret to this day. And on the right, you see WD-40, which is a product uh, whose formula is also a trade secret. If you would like more information about intellectual property, you can reach me at the address shown on the screen or the contact information shown on the screen. I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching.